Hi everyone! I am Ruby Lin T. Garcia, a grade 5 mathematics teacher. What I am going to present to you from this series of videos is about multiplication of decimal numbers. Our video is entitled, Go Ye and Multiply. Now, before we start with the first lesson, it is important to know why we need to learn how to multiply decimal numbers. The answer is simple. It is because anywhere we go, we use multiplication, especially when it involves money. Let's start with the first series of our video, Visualizing Multiplication of Decimals. How do we visualize multiplication of decimals? The first way is to make use of grid. Remember that multiplication of decimals can easily be visualized using a 10 by 10 grid. Multiplying decimals can be visualized by representing each factor with the vertical and horizontal lines placed over the other. The double shaded part represents the answer to the equation. Now, let's go over this problem and let's use the grid to solve it. Mr. Dizon's farm is 3 tenths kilometer long and 1 tenths kilometer wide. How big is his land? To solve the problem, we need to multiply 3 tenths kilometer by 1 tenths kilometer. We have to make a 10 by 10 grid. First, 3 tenths is the same as 3 of 10 columns, so we shade 3 of 10 columns. 1 tenths means 1 of 10 rows, so 1 of 10 rows is shaded. Now, even if we change the arrangement of the factors, the product stays the same. That is stated in the commutative property of multiplication. So that we will not be confused, we will represent the multiplicand using the vertical line, or also the same as our y-axis. Then the multiplier will be shown through the horizontal line, which is also known as our x-axis. Going back to the grid we have used, how many squares are double shaded? There are three. Three of 100 squares are double shaded. So three over 100 is the same as three hundredths. The answer is three hundredths kilometer big. If we analyze, the answer is correct. It must not exceed 5 tenths kilometer because if we round off 3 tenths, that is close to 0 and 1 tenths is also close to 0. So if we estimate the answer is close to 0, 3 hundredths is close to 0. Here is the second way of visualizing multiplication of decimals. By using number lines. In using number lines, we have to create as many number lines as there are in our given factors. Then we number it based on the given factors. When we multiply decimals, we just ignore the decimal points and multiply as if we are multiplying whole numbers. To know the answer, we create another number line to combine all the number lines made. In here, we are showing that multiplication is a repeated addition. Let's try that in this problem. Every morning, Chris goes jogging. He can jog a distance of 8 tenths kilometer. How many kilometers can he jog in 2 days? To solve the problem, we have to multiply 8 tenths by 2. We have to draw 2 number lines, divided into 8 parts and numbered starting from 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and so on until we reach 0 0.8. To find the answer, we can combine our number lines and make use of only one number line with continuous numbering. When we reach 10, we mark it as 1.0, then 1.1, and so on. The answer is Chris Jags 1.6 kilometers in two days. Again, the answer makes sense because if we round off 8 tenths, it's 1. And if we multiply it to 2, the answer is 2. Our exact answer is 1.6. If we round it off, it's 2. Alright, I am sure that you are now ready to learn more about multiplication of decimals. Good luck and see you in the next episodes.